All right, here's example three on the 45, 45, 90 triangle. I wanted to show you this one just because uh, we didn't really get into any problems where uh, the math got a little more complicated with working with the radicals, but you're going to see uh, that this one here kind of presents an interesting situation, you know, just in terms of working out the math with the radicals. So uh, I have 45, 45, this has to be 90. This is my right angle. And I know my side across my right angle is the 16. And my, my relationship is once again, that for every A units that I have across from my 45s, I know that across from my 90 is just root two times that value. So if I know my side that is across from my uh, 90, I can just divide by the square root of two, and that's going to give me my side across my 45. So that's exactly what I want to do with this value right here. I want to take this 16, and I want to divide it by the square root of two, and then I'll know exactly what this 45 uh, degree angle is. So let's work that out. 16 divided by the square root of two. Now, the first thing that should jump out at you is that I don't really have a good way to do this with it, with it written as it is right here. Um, and if you remember back to your Algebra 2 days, you'll remember that, well, I'm not allowed to have radicals in the denominator. So what I need to be able to do is I need to be able to rationalize this denominator. I want to be able to write my denominator so that it, there is no square root in there. And to do that, I just need to multiply both the top and the bottom by the square root of two. So in my numerator here, 16 times the square root of two is just 16 root two. You can't combine these. You don't want to multiply this whole number with this radical here. And root two times root two, if you remember your rules for multiplying radicals, you just multiply the numbers under there and you get the square root of four. Or, you know, of course, the other way you could think of this is the square root of two squared. Either way that you look at it, your denominator is just going to be two. The square root of four is two. And because squaring and square rooting are inverse or opposite operations, all I'm left with is this two that's under here. So now I have 16 root two over two. If you can simplify, you want to simplify. Uh, just as a quick reminder, you know, you might see these twos here and be tempted to start canceling them out, but because this two isn't really a two, it's a square root of two, you cannot cancel these out. You never cancel out a number with a radical and just a whole number here. But because of this being multiplication here, this is 16 times the square root of two, this 16 is a factor, and because of that, I can reduce 16 over two. Uh, and 16 divided by 2 is just uh, 8. So my final answer is going to be 8 root 2. And because my sides that are across my 45s are congruent, not only do I know that LH is 8 root 2, but I also know that LS is uh, 8 root 2. Now, for those of you that are a little bit confused uh, with this idea here, let me set up the proportion just to show you that real quick here. So in every 45, 45, 90 triangle, you don't have to excuse my drawing there, every one unit here, I have one unit here, this is root two, and these are 45s. And let's set up our proportion because we have similar triangles. So across from my 45, I have one unit, and across from my 45, before I solve it, you know, I don't know what it is, so I'll just call it side LS. That's the side I'm solving for, or I could have put LH there, wouldn't have made a difference. Um, and then let's do a ratio of my sides that are across from my right angle. So for every root two uh, units that I have over here, I have 16 over here. Solving this proportion will get you your answer. So root two times LS would be root two times LS, one times 16 is 16, and divide both sides by the square root of two, and realize that we are right back to where we were uh, when we did this problem the first time. So you would work out this math in the same way. Final answer, eight root two.